So why are my videos often angry? It goes back to the word provoke. And I can't cover this enough. Provoke means to call. There's a call of duty, and this should not be my duty. Society should not have shunned me. I should have other things to do. What we're looking at is what we all know anyway. And I'll cover Olympics, Olympus, Crete, and connect them definitively and help you understand what's going on. We all know on some level that black people are the most athletic. Most people don't know why. It has to do with brain function and coordination. Okay, I'm not saying that people, other people aren't smart. There are various forms of intelligence. The female mind has to do more with the sciences and math. The male mind has to do more with martial arts in its intense form, not the kind of Tai Chi, which is an attempt to inject the female mind into martial arts. You know, and I went over Ki, Gi, and Ki, the Babylonian kind of Mesopotamian deity, the earth deity, uh, Gaia, G-A-I-A, earth mother. So let's get into why this is. First, I'd like to remind you that wordplay is sound. I don't believe that the insightful martial artist needs it or for it to be spelled out, as they say. I went over the vowel, vowel to L, grammar, gram as a form of weight, uh, and so on and so forth, lifting weights, the weight in terms of figure it out, and so on. But perhaps the most damning and obvious example is the word ball itself. Ball can also be said as Bel, the temple of Bel in Palmyra in the Roman Empire. Bel, Baal worship in the Middle East, the Canaanite deity. Jackal, jack all, be all. Okay, and pan meaning all. So the vowels in Egypt are said to be interchangeable. Ra and Re, they're not. Okay, they refer to different ideas. Interchange, a bull. Interchange, a bull. Where does the source of writing come from? It's said to be in popular culture, Sumer. But of course, symbols predate Sumerian writing. Sumerian writing certainly was for the purpose of elevating the E over the A. So now let's look at this word. Remember, the T is the feminine suffix. Look it up. I've posted it on the screen in the past. Bat versus ba. Cat versus ka. The cat is seen as the female kind of animal, right? But the true ka within the cat, the lion, the leopard, the cheetah, etc., is a masculine kind of expression. Okay, and we see various forms of sounds. Phonetics, Phoenicians, the phoenix bird. So let's look at the word athlete. If we take out the T and we replace the A with an E, we get elite, 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 e lay e, a lay e, and so on. Athlete, elite. The elite are supposed to be martial arts warriors. An athlete is a kind of feminine culture sort of way of describing martial arts, just like with spar and sport, okay? Spartan, sport in, and so on. And of course, their focus on wrestling, just like in the Olympics. We'll get to that shortly. So why the athlete, the elite? Well, it goes back to the figure, worship and worship, mind, body, soul, and spirit. Psyche is said to mean soul. The sick E, the sick O, okay? Of course, Western culture in its consumer capitalist form, to be diplomatic, is sick, okay? People in Yemen were starving. People in Ethiopia, Biafra, Somalia, and many underdeveloped nations where people are disproportionately of dark skin, okay? We see them suffering. Go take a look at the Yemen. There's a wide variety of Yemenese people, but there's certainly a lot of dark skin there, people there, and they probably disproportionately suffer in the famine. Animus is said to mean spirit, animal. So the psyche, their soul, is the sick E, or sick O, right? The reproductive cycle. The animal, miss, the animal. The Olympics, Mount Olympus and Zeus, Olymp eyes, Olymp is. Compared to somebody who is tall and coordinated, other people have a variation of Olymp. Okay, think about it. And of course, we could start talking about sex and so on and so forth. I'm sure you can make those connections yourself. So Zeus was said to be born on Crete, where King Minos was born. And he, of course, is connected to the labyrinth. It's like the movie The Labyrinth. Crete, cry, E. Okay. Cruel, cry, L. Or C, Ra, L. In The Labyrinth, it says, live without your heartbeat. Your, your heartbeat. 
and that we'll, we'll talk about rape and the systematic rape culture and consent again. We'll go over that briefly at the end. The heartbeat. They, in order to breed with you, they need you to see them uh, as a man when they're not, so to speak. Okay, to see them as something virtuous and uh, worthy. Okay, ver meaning masculinity. You know, male uh, virility. Okay, in order so they, therefore they, the heart is the seat of intelligence, and you know, uh, people with heart have admiration for people with heart. People without heart are pretty much sickos, right? Sickies, uh, and animals who cannot perceive people for who they are. So when we look at Kronos, we see cry, news, cry, nose, Saturn, see, earn, so, turn. Urn can be a vessel where the ashes are placed of someone who is sacrificed to a deity. It can also be the word earning something, earning your keep, and so on and so forth. So what Kronos basically represents, among other things, is killing certain children so they can create another type of people. And in the process, we see Zeus and we see Hera and Hades and so on. You know, are you know they were they were being um, swallowed by Kronos instead of allowing them to exist because uh, he wanted to keep his power. And that had to do with, you know, a sort of, one can look at it in terms of he's the king, and it has to do with keeping, uh, uh, competing with the Africans and the other people uh, for the Har War, the Hare War, and so on. This also has to do with why, as a prince of Ari, you need me around or all is lost, because it is a air war. You know, the, the, the people who... Uh, maintain the purity of the martial arts um, DNA through the patriarchal lineage, okay? Um, and the servants uh, of the martial artists who were allowed to breed with them, okay, in the true spirit, right? Come to your view, right? Come, semen, come to your view. Reproduction, the O cult, the O, the sun. The O is the, the wing disc of Ra, the sun cycle, the reproductive cycle. Speaking of that, we get Kepri, Ra and Atum from the 5th dynasty, Chester Papyri, I believe it was, where Kepri stands for keep Ra, or pick, um, or peck, your pick, your peck, okay, and your pecks, you know, the tits, and it goes back to Atum. Now, Atum is being injected into this. It is Ra's call center, not Kepri, or Atum. Okay, These, this is for the term of sage, right? Osiris is also described as wizard, which goes back to the word wizzo, which means sage, which is also a Latin or Greek root for witten, for wisdom, to know. Okay, so we have Atom and Mutt. Okay, Mutt and Amen. Amen was the guy who put his name before Ra, and, and he is connected to Atum, who has the tits, who's the great he-she and seen as a bisexual deity. Look at the depictions of Amen. He's basically bisexual as well. It goes back to Kansu, his moon deity. The moon is a female idea, right? And it, it, it can be a masculine idea how a man relates to a woman in the left eye of Horus, Harware, Haro, Har, 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 Ares, uh, Har, uh, Horus the other. Okay, so mutt backwards is time or mate. And atum backwards is uh, uh, a time, or excuse me, it's forwards a time, a tum, right, belly, and mate a. And this also goes back to the story of Isis putting the viper, remember she's in Atrantis, married to a wizard, Osiris, wizard, okay, uh, who uses music and, and grain and fertility and, and, and devil's tunes, if you will, Luciferian tunes to win people over. So you have the viper on the trail that bites Ra, okay? Jesus in the Bible refers to the Jews as a brood of vipers. There's a certain truth to this book, though it is by the bull. And Set replaces Abel, and the bull is more like uh, Ra, because he's also he's the bull of Heliopolis. Okay, so he's sort of like the the kind of muscular, worldly expression of Ra. Okay, whereas the Ka of Heliopolis, the leopard, Leopold, is the true kind of deity of Ra and his son, um, the the uh, falcon deity, uh, uh, the falcon pharaoh, the true archetype of pharaoh, um, uh, Horus the Elder. Okay, so the viper on the path of Ra, where um, Isis, who uh, baby Horus is said to not be from the same family as Haroeris, is said to use the viper to bite Ra, and he says because he did not create the creature, so the viper actually represents people and followers of the viper and not 
the viper itself because he says he didn't create it, but he created everything in the world. So naturally, he created everything in the world. This is an unnatural reproductive cycle that has been used to interfere with Ra and to kind of poison him into uh, accepting um, the, the, the child of Isis and Osiris, who can also be seen as the child of Isis and Set because her name means seat and set is a play on words for seat, tease, ease, uh, hose and so on and so forth, right? Because S E T H is another spelling of it. So, the the snake of the Bible is told to crawl, crawl on its belly, eating dust all of its days. Man will return to the dust. Man in his worldly form is dust. Dust is also a form of shit. It also goes back to fertilizer. Okay. So eat dust is also a way of saying eat shit. Look at the world. What happens when seven billion people plus are going to the bathroom all the time? Okay. What is your food, right? How are crops grown? What are animals, right? How do they relate to shit? Shit has the T, the feminine suffix, which goes back to shoe. If shoe shows the feminine explanation of God, it is a crock of shit. You're in a world of shit. For that reason, watch this video again if I'm speaking too fast. Take notes. Lateral, lateral movement, okay? Has to do with the various movements of the body, right? Lateral movements, being able to dodge and sideways. You know, okay? Lateral movements, okay, of course this is a reduction. I feel pain in my back and so on and so forth. They're inducing osteoporosis by chemically castrating me, making it harder for me to do my movements and to express the the, the violent kind of stroke of raw. I'm sure even in my form, you'd have to be blind to not see that I am a reduced form of something else. I'll put those pictures in the end. Okay, and you can see clearly that I have more of a leopard form. And you can imagine by the pictures in the end why I would beat, be able to beat someone like this in combat even though they're stronger than I am and faster than I am with their feet. But not when it comes to skywalking and lateral movements that would allow me to outmaneuver the brute and stab them effectively. Moving on. So we go to Obi belt. Obi means belt. Okay, Kuro Obi, black belt. It means belt also was used for carrying. The idea of the belt on the on the lower waist comes from the Japanese female wearing this belt, the, you know, this Obi, to carry the baby. So it's carrying the idea. This also goes back to human trafficking, raw fucking C-Rapis, C-Rapis, C-Rape eyes, C-Rape ass. Okay, so the strength to carry on, on as Iunu or Heliopolis, Ra's cost center. Which also brings us to virtue and virgin. I went over that heartbeat, I went over that. Cover the topic, cover, to cover it up. Okay, topic to pick, opic, opec. Cruel, meaning mean, mean, backwards, no E, or no E, to know it or no. The bull, ball, bell, a toilet bowl. Goes back to the shit. I don't mean to disgust you, but this is part of it. The direction of humanity is disgusting. And of course, gust, a gust of wind, set the storm god El, the Canaanite war god, and, uh, excuse me, storm god, and so on. Um, it also goes back to Israel, eyes, Ra, El, trying to give the eyes of Ra to El. And of course, uh, set replaces the bull, so it's really giving it to set at the end of the day is the, is the idea. And of course, you'll see a lot of people with features similar to mine. And there's a long story as to why that is. They're part of the same family. So some people express these kind of the ears and the nose and the kind of shape of face. And of course, I'm half white. And But there are people on my black side that are more kind of jackal looking people. And so it gets complicated. Um, intellectual knowledge, no ledge, right? Why me? Uh, so intellectuals focus on Sophia, right? Sap IA, okay? AI pass. Uh, AI poise or pose. Okay, scribe, C rib E, tribe, T is the feminine suffix, rib E, rabbi. All right, so let's look at the systematic rape culture, right? I went over the vowel, A, alpha, E, beta, evil, and so on. Consent, right? Con, sent, senses, consensus. Goes back to sensible, sensibility. Desensitize, sensitize. Lie with someone, to tell a lie. Sleep with someone, conscious, levels of consciousness, right? Con, con arts. Rape backwards, E pair, E poor. E poor, as in poor, and E poor, poor people being taken advantage of. Ra pay, human trafficking, raw fucking, public schools. Goes back to scholar. Schools backwards is looks. Scholar is Ray looks, or raw looks to look like raw, but not actually be raw. Uh, live backwards is evil. Love, replace the, you know, backwards is evil, interchangeable vowels. Awareness, a where, hardware to know. Breed, be read, 
Red is the principles of the color of evil. Mate, met E, ate at E, conditioning, con, die, shunning, cultivation, cult, I, vi, shun, programming, pro, gram, in, cram, is weight, instinct, in sync with what? Uh, above the threshold of con consciousness, super, super liminal, right, versus subliminal messages, uh, and so on. And I'll put that at the end as well, a picture that proves my point about that. It shows, a, I didn't draw the picture, obviously, I suck at drawing. Uh, anyway, subconscious mental process, automatic behavior, epigenetic process, conscious decision making, judgment, consensual sexual behavior, who, what, when, where, how, and why. Process proceeds easy.